switching routing, wireless essentials, final packet tracer skills assessment, PTSA. This topology. One router, two switches, two PCs. You will configure the devices in a small network. You must configure a router, two switches, and two PCs to support both IPv4 and IPv6 connectivity. VLAN table, addressing table. Build the network. Move the required devices into the equipment rack. Place the PCs on the table. Okay, this is the packet tracer file. If you are on logical mode, go to physical mode. Click here. And you will see this. Place the required devices. Drag R1 is the 4321 router. Drag this, this router. Drag this router here. And drag the switches, 2960 switches. Okay. This is a 3650 switch. So drag 2960 switches. This. S1 and S2, the another 2960 switch. and place the PCs on the table, PCA and PCB. Connect the devices according to the topology diagram. Okay. From gigabit 001, Connect to fast Ethernet 5 on S1. Okay, from gigabit 001 on router R1, connect to fast Ethernet 5 on S1. Okay, go to cable pegboard and use a straight through cable, this green cable, click here. And from gigabit 001 on router to fast Ethernet 5 on the switch as one. Fast Ethernet 1 on S1, connect fast Ethernet 1 on S2. And from fast Ethernet 2 on S1, connect fast Ethernet 2 on S2. Okay, go to cable backboard, the green cable. From fast Ethernet 1 on S1 to fast Ethernet 1 on S2. And from another cable. From fast Ethernet 2 on S1 to fast Ethernet 2 on S2. Okay, and finally, from S1 to PCA using fast Ethernet 6, and from S2 to PCB using fast Ethernet 18. Okay, another cable. Click here. From fast Ethernet 6 on S1 to fast Ethernet port on the PC. This is an RS232 port, not this. Use fast Ethernet. Okay. You have this connection from fast Ethernet 6 to PCA. And 
and select another cable the green cable from facet internet 18 from facet internet 18 on S2 to facet internet on PCB okay this connection facet internet 18 on S2 to PCB Configure initial device settings. All iOS device configuration must be made through a direct console connection. Okay. And verify if uh, if the router R1 is power on. Click here to power on the device click here and now you can see the green indicator okay, is power on and switches are connected to the power distribution device S1 and S2 they are uh, power on by default Configure R1. Prevent the router from attempting to resolve incorrectly entered commands as domain names. Okay, and just a console cable mm, from PCA RS232 port connect to the console port on the router. Console port. Okay, now uh, you have the connection. Click on PCA, desktop, device must be power on. Okay, so click here to power on the PC, PCB, power on the PCB, very nice. And now click on PC, desktop, terminal. Okay, enter. Would you like to enter initial configuration dialog? No. Enter. Enter. Okay. Enable configure terminal. Okay. On R1. Prevent router from attempting to resolve incorrectly entered comments as domain names. No IP domain lookup. Configure the R1 hostname hostname R1 case sensitive configure an appropriate message of the day banner banner message of the day unauthorized access is prohibited enter Configure password security. Configure the console password and enable connections. Okay, configure the line console. Line console password. So enter the line console. Line console zero. Password Cisco Compass. I will use this password Cisco Compass. The password is not specified. But I will use Cisco Compass. Enter. Don't forget logging. Exit from Line Console. Okay, configure and enable secret password. And configure the enable enable password. Enable secret Cisco and pass. Okay, I will use this password. Enable secret Cisco and pass. Encrypt all clear text passwords. Service password dash encryption. 
set the minimum length of newly created passwords to 10 characters. Security passwords min dash length 10. Configure SSH. Create an administrative user in the local user database. Username admin encrypted password admin one pass. Username admin encrypted password use secret admin one pass. Okay. Username admin secret password admin one pass. Okay, enter and configure a domain name ccna-ptsa.com IP domain domain dash name ccna-ptsa.com 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 Enter Create RSI crypto key with a modulus of 1024 bits Crypto key generate RSI general dash keys modulus 1024 Enter. Okay, this is the command and very good. Ensure that more secure version of SSH will be used. Okay, uh, use version 2 IP SSH version 2. Very good. And configure the BTY lines to authenticate logins against the local user database. Okay, access to the BTY lines, line BTY 0 to 15, and use the local database to authenticate. Use this username, so use a login local. Configure BTY lines to only accept connections over SSH. Transport input SSH enter and exit from the BTY lines. Exit configure router interfaces. Configure R1 with a loopback interface. Configure loopback 0 with IPv4 and IPv6 addressing according to the addressing table. Okay, this is the R1 loopback 0. Configure this. Interface loopback 0. Okay. Immediately enable an IP address 209.165.201.1. 27 is 224 IPv6 address 2001 DBA ACAD 209 colon colon 1 prefix 64 enter IPv6 FE80 colon colon 1 this is the link local address Finally, you can add a description. Description. Uh, you can use uh, cloud or internet. Okay. Simulated internet or cloud. Simulated cloud. Enter. Configure router sub interfaces. Prepare the router to be configured with IPv6 addresses on its interfaces. 
Okay, and uh, exit from loopback interface configuration modes. Uh, exit from interface configuration mode. Exit and prepare the router to be configured with IPv6 addresses on its interfaces. So use IPv6 unicast dash routing. Use the information in the addressing table and VLAN table to configure sub interfaces on R1. Interfaces should be configured with IPv4 and IPv6. All addresses interfaces should use FE80 colon colon 1 as the link local address. Use the VLAN table to assign the VLAN membership to the sub interfaces. Then go to addressing table. And now you have four sub interfaces. Four sub interfaces. Remember, router is using gigabit 001 to connect the switch. And on gigabit 001, you will create sub interface 2, 3, 4, okay, and 6. Okay, I start with gigabit 001.2, the sub interface. Interface, you have it 0, 0, 001.2. Okay. Uh, set uh, fields. Use the VLAN table. Uh, VLAN table says that gigabit 0, 0, 001.2 belongs to VLAN number 2. Okay. Uh, Assign to VLAN 2. Encapsulation that one Q VLAN number two. Enter. And you can set a description, for example, this uh, VLAN is um, the VLAN name is uh, bikes. You can set any description, but I will use bikes. And then configure IPv4, IPv6, and IPv6 link local. IPv4 IP address 10, 19, A1, 26 is uh, 192. Enter. IPv6 address. Okay, you can repeat the previous address to 001. DBA ACAD A. Colon, colon, one, perfect, 64. Okay. Enter. And the link local is the same in all interfaces on the router. IPv6 address, FEAC, colon, colon, one, link local. Okay. Now continue with sub interface three. Sub interface three belongs sub interface three belongs to VLAN three. Enter the description. This this VLAN is VLAN of trikes. Trikes. Enter. Uh, IPv4, IPv6, link local. IPv4, 10, 18, 8, 65. Prefix 27, 27 is 224. Enter. The IPv6 is uh, B, colon, colon, 1. The link local address is the same. FEA0 colon colon 1 link local. Now, uh, sub interface number 4. Uh, encapsulation 4. And uh, 
description management IPv4 address 97 10, 19, 8, 97, and 29 is 48. Okay, 29 prefix is 48 on decimal. Uh, IPv6 is C colon colon 1 prefix 64. The link local is the same. Okay, and sub interface number 6. Six encapsulation Num number six belongs to VLAN six and is the native VLAN six and don't forget is native. Okay, enter. You can set a description. Description you can use native for the description. And that's it. Finally, uh, enable the sub interface. Now you can see the the indicator on the router is uh, is down. Okay, so. Enable gigabit 001, the physical interface, interface gigabit 001, no shutdown. And now you can see the indicator is on. Very nice. Be sure to configure the native VLAN interface. Okay, this is the native VLAN interface, sub interface 6. Configure descriptions for all interfaces. These are the descriptions for all interfaces, including the loopback, including the loopback address description. Configure S1 and S2 with basic settings and device hardening. Okay, configuration tasks for the switches S1 and S2 include the following. Configure basic settings on S1 and S2. Okay, so use a console connection to connect from a PC to first configure switch S1. It's a console cable from RS232 port on PCB to S1. Right click here. Inspect rear and connect to console port. Now this is the connection. Okay, to S1. Click on PCB, desktop terminal. Okay. Enter. Prevent the switches from attempting to resolve incorrectly and red commands as the main names. Okay, enable configure terminal no IP domain lookup. Configure the hostname hostname as one case sensitive banner banner message of the day um, authorize access is prohibited okay not to raise the access is prohibited uh, device hardening on s1 and s2 configure console password and enable connections okay access the line console configuration line console zero the only one console set the password password we Cisco Compass. I will use this password, Cisco Compass. Don't forget to enable the connection with login. 
the exit from line console configuration mode. Enable secret password. Enable enable secret. Uh, Cisco and pass. Encrypt all clear text passwords. Service password dash encryption. Configure SSH on S1 and S2. Create administrative user. Username admin secret password. Admin one pass. Configure the domain name, IP domain dash name ccna dash pdsa.com. The crypto key, crypto key generate RSA general dash keys modulus 1024. Very nice. Ensure that more secure version of SSH will be used. IP SSH version 2. Enter. Okay, it's version. Version 2. Enter. Very good. Configure BTY lines to authenticate logins against the local user database. First, access to BTY lines. Line BTY. BTY. All BTY lines from 0 to 15 and use login local to authenticate the local database to use this username and password and configure BTY lines to accept connections over SSH only. Transport input SSH. Then exit. Configure switch virtual interfaces on S1 and S2. Configure switch virtual interfaces on both switches. Use the information in the addressing table to configure switch virtual interfaces on S1 and S2 for the management VLAN. Go to addressing table on S1 VLAN 4 switch virtual interface. Use this IP address and this is the default gateway. Okay, so configure the switch so that the switch virtual interface can be reached from other networks over the management VLAN. So that means configure the default gateway. Okay, and configure all this interface VLAN 4. Okay, is VLAN 4. Enter IP address 1098.0. 98, 29 is 255, 255, 255, and 248. Okay, and if you want to set a description, description management, switch virtual interface, for example, enable the interface, not shut down. Enter. Exit from interface configuration mode and set the default gateway. IP default dash gateway 10.19.8.97. Enter. Very good. Configure network, bilance tracking, ether channel. On S1 and S2, create the bilance according to the VLAN table. Okay, create all these bilans. VLAN 2, name bikes, case sensitive. VLAN 3, name trikes, okay, case sensitive. VLAN 4, Management million five 
name parking bilan six native okay exit okay be careful with the names Create AO2 that one cube in trunks on port faucet one and faucet two. Okay, remember ports faucet one and two are connected to the another switch. So configure uh, strongly ports interface range faucet one and uh, fast Ethernet one and two. Enter. Okay, um, switch port mode trunk. Okay, very good. And don't forget, use VLAN 6 as the native VLAN. Switch port trunk. Native VLAN 6. Enter. And on S1, facet and 5 should also be configured as trunk. Uh, fast, Ethernet, fast Ethernet 5 is connected to the router, so it should be trunk. Okay, Fast Ethernet 5 trunk, Nativeland 6. Okay, don't worry about these messages because the trunk is using Nativeland 6 on S1. And on S2, the native VLAN is a still native VLAN number one. So they are different. And you will see these messages, but don't worry. Okay, for set another five, trunk and native VLAN six, interface or exit, uh, interface for set another five. Switch port mode, switch port mode trunk, switch port mode trunk, and switch port trunk native VLAN 6. Okay, exit. Okay, interface for Ethernet 5, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk native VLAN 6, exit. Okay, very nice. Okay, and go here your other channel. Create layer two other channel port group one that uses interfaces for Ethernet one and for Ethernet two on S one and S two. Both ends of the channel should negotiate the LACP link. Okay. For Ethernet one and two will form a uh, other channel. Okay. So enter access to. Interface range for set another one and two. Enter. Create the channel group port one. Channel dash group one. Mode. Both ends of the channel should negotiate the LACP link. Okay, enter. Uh, again, interface range for set one and two. Channel group one mode. And to negotiate, it should be active. Okay, enter. Very nice. Active. Okay, configure switch ports. On S1, configure the port that is connected to the host with the static access mode in VLAN 2. Okay. Look at this port number six connected to PCA and should be assigned it to VLAN two. Okay, enter uh, exit. Okay, exit from interface configuration mode. Interface for Ethernet six. Switch port mode access. Okay. Switch port mode access. Interface was at uh, six, switch port mode access, and switch port access VLAN 2. Enter. Very nice. 
Okay. Um, exit from interface configuration mode. Exit. And uh, this configuration is for S2. I will configure the next step. Configure port security on S1 and S2 active access ports to accept only three LearNet MAC addresses. Okay, on S1, configure the active access port. Okay, so enter and access again for Ethernet 6, the port connected to the PC, enter, and then activate port security, switch port, port dash security, enter. And three LearNet MAC addresses, switch port, port security, maximum three, and to learn a MAC address, use the option MAC dash address sticky. Enter. I'm oh, sorry, it's sticky. Enter. Very nice. Okay, enter, then exit from interface configuration mode. So you have interface as Ethernet 6, switch port security, switch port. Switch port port security maximum three. And switch port port security mac address sticky. Exit and you are on global configuration mode. Assign all unused switch ports to VLAN five on both switches and shut down the ports. Okay, so on S one the ports in use are one, two, and five and six. Okay, enter and interface range. The unused ports are from 3 to 4, comma, plus Ethernet from 7 to 24, and gigabit 1 and 2. Okay, 1 and 2 in use, 3 and 4, 5 and 6 in use, 7 to 24, and gigabit 1 and 2 unused ports. Okay, and Should be on VLAN 5 and should be access ports. Okay. Switch port uh, mode access. Switch port access VLAN 5. And shut down the ports. And configure a description on the unused ports that is relevant to their status. Okay. Enter a description. Um, user port enter and shut down shut down all this range of ports shut down enter very nice and exit from interface configuration mode exit okay and repeat all this process Repeat all this process but on S2. Okay, so I will change the console from PCB to S2. Okay, inspect the rear. Okay, and right click, inspect rear. Okay, you have S1 rear, S2 rear, and drag this cable, drag this console cable from S1 to S2. Okay, and review. S1 inspect rear, no connection, S2 inspect rear. Now the console is connected. From PCB is connected to S2. Okay, and now the connection goes from PCB to console on S2. So click on PCB, close the terminal, open again terminal, okay. And don't worry about these messages. Enter, enable configure terminal
Okay, uh, no IP domain lookup, no IP domain lookup, hostname, hostname as to message of the day banner, banner message of the day, when authorized uh, access is prohibited on authorized access prohibited okay enter uh, console password line console line space console zero password cisco compass okay don't forget your passwords login to enable exit Enable secret password. Enable secret Cisco M pass. Okay, don't forget this password. Encrypt clear that password. Service password dash encryption. Configure SSH username. Username admin and secret admin one pass okay the domain name ip domain dash okay enter uh, ip domain dash name ccna dash ptsa.com crypto key crypto key generate rsa general dash keys modulus 1024 very good okay uh, ssh version ip ssh version 2 pty lines using local database access to pty lines from 0 to 15 login local and accept only SSH connections, transport, input, SSH, exit from BTY line configuration mode. Switch virtual interface. The virtual interface and default gateway. So go to the addressing table and configure this under interface VLAN 4. Uh, description, some management interface. IP address 10, 18, 8, 99, and 29 is 248. Okay, and enable the interface, no shutdown. Exit, and on global configuration mode, IP default dash gateway, gateway 10, 18, 8, 97. Configure the bilance, go to the bilance table, configure bilan 2, name, bikes, case sensitive, bilan 3, name, trikes, case sensitive, bilan 4, enter, name, management, okay, bilan 4, name management mm, belong five name parking be careful with the names and belong six name native exit okay exit from belan configuration mode and the and the trunks, facet one and two, the trunks, okay, remember the connection to the, the connection to S1, facet one and two trunks. OK, 
Okay. Interface range, facet limit one and two, facet limit zero, one and two. Switch port, no track. Switch port, track, native VLAN six and zero. Okay, and very nice. And you will see this message. Uh, interface range for set one and two switch for more trunk switch for trunk and TV land six and look at see and look at this port consistency restore it port consistency restore it and these messages will not appear anymore configure the other channel other channel group one on interfaces one and two on s2 but and channel should negotiate the lacp link okay remember you are still on interface range configuration mode you are still in facet another one and two so apply here and uh, channel Dash group one mode active enter very good okay and port channel one change it state to up okay exit and and verify if the port channel is very well configured okay uh, show uh, the channel summary okay show the channel summary uh, port channel one su okay it's a layer two channel and you uh, is in use is okay and lacp the ports are faster than one and two with p P state and P state is in port channel, so it's configured very well. If you see something like D is down, you need to fix that. Okay, but now the state is P in port channel as you layer to channel in use. Very, very nice. Okay, configure switch ports. This configuration is for S1. On S2, configure the port that is connected to the host with the static mode in VLAN 3. VLAN 3. And S2 is connected to PCB using FASA 18. Configure terminal interface, FASA 18. Switch port mode access. Switch port access. VLAN 3. Okay, should access VLAN 3. Configure port security on S1 and S2. Active access ports to accept only three learned MAC addresses. Okay, and you are still on Fast Ethernet 18 interface configuration mode so apply here and switch port port security to enable port security and now maximum three okay you can add a uh, mac address sticky but is uh, configured by default so it's not necessary but i will do it anyway mac address sticky Enter, exit. Assign only user ports to VLAN 5 on both switches and shut down the ports. Configure a description on the unused ports. Okay, what are the unused ports on S2? In use, fast Ethernet 1 and 2 and 18. So the range is interface range. Fast Ethernet 3 to 17, comma, fast Ethernet. Uh, 19 
to 24 and gigabit 1 and 2. Okay, 1 and 2 in use, 3 to 17, 18 in use, 19 to 24, and gigabit 1 and 2. Enter. Set a description. When you set port and switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 5, this is the parking VLAN, VLAN 5. And shut down the ports, shut down, enter, very good, let's see. Now configure host support, configure the home routing on R1, okay, go to R1, okay, and remember that R1 is connected uh, to PCA. Okay, so the console of R1 is connected to PCA, so access PCA. Okay, press enter. Okay, and remember the password to access the console is Cisco Compass Enter. Enable. Remember my password is Cisco Mpass. Okay, very good. Uh, privilege exit mode and configure IP before the default route that uses loopback interface as the exit interface. Configure terminal IP route, the default route, the loopback zero is the exit interface. Okay, don't worry about this message. IPv6 default route uses the loopback zero interface as the exit interface. IPv6 route. The default route on IPv6 is this, and loopback zero is the exit interface. Very nice. Configure IP for DHCP for VLAN 2. And R1 create DHCP pool, call it CCNA A, that consists of the last 10 host addresses in the VLAN 2 subnet only. Okay, first exclude the addresses for this DHCP pool. You need the last 10 host addresses, so you need to exclude the, the another addresses. And look at this. This is uh, for, for VLAN 2. Okay, and VLAN 2 is assigned to, to sub interface 2 and sub interface 2 has this uh, IP before address and open a notepad for help and this is the address of the router this is the address of the router okay this is router sub interface and now, I want to know the subnet. The subnet of this is uh, EC80 prefix 26. And the range of, range of host addresses. Okay, the range is uh, from 10, 19, 8, 1. 2, 10, 19, 8. Uh, remember, you have this prefix 26. 26 permits 62 hosts from 1 to 62. Okay. And uh, don't forget the DHCP pool, call it. CCNA A that consists of the last 10 host addresses. Okay. You need only the last 10 host addresses of this range. So you need to know the excluded addresses of the pool. And the excluded will be from, from 1 to 
to 52. Okay, Ex exclude from 1 to 52. So from 53 to 62, you have 10 addresses. Okay, you can count if you want. So exclude this range. IPDHCP excluded address from 1019A1 to 1019A52. Enter. And now create this DHCP pool with this name, K sensitive, IPDHCP pool CCNA A. Enter. The network is this. You have the network this, the subnet. Okay. 10, 18, 8, 0, 26 is uh, 192. The default router is the interface on the router. Is the address on the router is 1. 10, 18, A1. Okay, configure the correct default gateway. The default gateway is the default router. And uh, do not configure DNS, but configure the domain name. Domain is ccna-a.net. Enter. Okay, then exit from the pool. Very good. And configure IP for DHCP for VLAN 3. Create a DHCP pool called CCNA-B that consists of the last 10 host addresses in the VLAN 3 subnet only. Okay, it's VLAN 3. VLAN 3 assigned to sub interface number 3. This is, this is the address on the router on the sub interface. Okay, this is the router sub interface address. I want to know the subnet. I want to know the range of host addresses. I want to know the excluded addresses. So the subnet is EC 1019864. Prefix 27. Okay. Okay, and the range for this subnet, the range of available addresses for hosts are from 10, 18, 8. The first is 65, and the last is 10, 18, 8 is uh, 94. Okay, because 27 prefix permits 30 hosts. And you have the range of host addresses from 65 to 94. But you need the last 10 addresses for the pool. So you need to exclude from the first, that is 65, to the... To 84. Okay. Exclude from 65 to 84. So you have from 85 to 94 10 addresses. Okay, from 85 to 94 10 addresses. Okay, and exclude this this range. Okay, this is the configuration for the excluded addresses for for the first DHCP pool, this DHCP pool CCNA-A. Okay, if you have this message, press enter, enter the, the password Cisco Compass. Okay, remember your console password, enable the enable password is uh, Cisco M pass 
in my case, okay, and configure terminal IP DHCP excluded dash address 1019A65 and 1019A84. Okay, very good. Create the DHCP pool. Okay, CCNA-B, okay, sensitive, IPDHCP pool, CCNA-B, enter. The network address is this, the subnet, 1019A64, 1019-864, and 27 is 224. Okay, 1019-864, 224. The default router is the address on the router 65, 1918 Not DNS, but configure this. Okay, this is the default router and this domain, ccna-b.net. Domain ccna-b.net. Okay, case sensitive. The name of the pool, uppercase, capital, capital letters, and the domain, lowercase. Okay, and ccna-b.net, enter, exit. Very good. Configure host computers. Configure the host computer to use DHCP for IPv4 addressing. Okay. Click on PCA. Close the terminal, go to IP configuration and select DHCP. Okay, and you got the IP address of NetMask and the default gateway from the DHCP server on the router go to PCB, close the terminal, IP configuration, DHCP. Okay, very nice. Look at the uh, PCB is in a different subnet of uh, PCA. Okay. They are on different subnets Look at the subnet mask are different because they are on different subnets on, on different VLANs, PCA on VLAN 2 and PCB on VLAN 3. Statically assign the IPv6 global unicast and the full gateway addresses using the values in the addressing table. Okay, for IPv6 configuration on PCs, use the addressing table. Look at for PCA, uh, IPv4 is DHCP and the full gateway DHCP. But for PCA, configure this uh, statically. So click on PCA, and the IPv6 address is 2001 DBA ACADA column column 50. Prefix 64 and the full gateway FE80 column column 1. Okay, for the default gateway, you can use the unicast address on the sub interface on the router, but I'm, uh, I'm using the link local address on the sub interface on the router. No DNS. and go to PCB, this is PCB, uh, use the addressing table, 2001, DBA, ACAD, B, column, column 50, 64, FE80, column, column 1, and very good. And 
obviously verify connectivity. Okay, use the addressing table, go to PCA, click on PCA, common prompt, and from the common prompt, being the sub interface on R1, using IPv4, 10, 19, A1, success. The sub interfaces on the router, 65, success, uh, 97, success, look back, 209, 165, success, switch one, 98, Success, you can repeat to be sure. S299, into S2, switch S2. Success, you can repeat to be sure. Okay, you are on PCA, uh, ping to PCB IPv4 address. Review the PCB IPv4 others, click on PCB, it's 1019.8.85. Okay, go to PCA again, it's 85. Success. And uh, using IPv6, being 2001, DBA, ACAD, A, column, column 1. Success, the sub interfaces B1, success uh, C1, success, loop back, 2 of 9, column, column 1, success, uh, PCA is this uh, PCB, B50, B 50 success also you can test the SSH configuration on the router okay the configuration on the router so go to PCA and remember the SSH user is uh, admin and password admin one pass uh, you can use uh, this method for for example as I say, H L. This is is not one. Is L. Admin is the user and the IP address of the router. You can use any IP on the router. You can use, for example, this 1019A1. The password admin one pass. Very nice. You are on router R1. Exit. Test to to switches, for example. The switches are uh, 98, 98, admin one pass, you are on S1, very good, the banner, exit, and to test uh, second switch, you can use this another method, uh, this application in Packet Racer, Telnet SSH client, Use SSH, the IP address of the second switch 99, 10, 19, 8, 99, and username admin. Connect, and password admin one pass. Very good, and you are on S2. Exit. Okay, yes. Uh, or close this and no. Close. Yes, okay. Thank you very much.